there's a lot of talk on social media lately about dogs being fed vegan diets and this video is not going to be about dogs being on vegan diets at all um, although I do have a very strong opinion about it there is a lot of science behind the fact that they should not be vegans um, this is not what that video is about this video is about cats being vegans um, that is because as a result of all of this talk on social media about dogs being fed vegan diets, I have seen personally a number of people, way more people than I would like to think are actually out there considering trying to put their cats on a vegan diet. People are actually asking on social media, why aren't there vegan foods for my cat? I want to make my cat vegan because I'm vegan. So this video is about cats being vegan. Stick with me, we're gonna talk about it right now. Hey, I'm Jessica, the furry family coach, and in this video, we're gonna talk about cats being put on a vegan diet. I am so saddened lately because, well, because people are considering putting their dogs on a vegan diet, but even more so because that conversation has spurred a lot of people more people than i ever imagined um are actually out there asking trying to figure out how to get their cats on a vegan diet and this is really really sad for me because i don't want to see these cats die and and nutritional abuses in animals i mean it's animal abuse so please don't do this but here is why okay cats Unlike dogs, unlike humans, unlike many other mammals, cats are obligate carnivores, meaning it is biologically necessary for them to eat meat. And there are a number of reasons for this. In fact, their diet needs to be higher in meat content than a dog's diet uh, does. And we feed our dogs, I feed my dogs a raw diet, and um, they thrive on it. It's uh, it's amazing to see how much healthier they are on a raw diet, but with our cats, they need even more meat in their diet than a dog does. And there are a number of different reasons. It's um, because of evolution, because over the years, cats have evolved to where they were getting so many of the different amino acids and vitamins that are necessary um, they're biologically necessary to keep you alive, including uh, a vitamin A, for example, is one. That cats stopped being able to make this on their own from the foods that they were eating because they were already getting it in the appropriate form from their prey, uh, the food they were eating from their prey. So cats can are obligate carnivores. They absolutely biologically need meat because if they don't get it, they're not able to make certain amino acids and other vitamins that their body needs to survive. Um, one of these amino acids being taurine. Um, they cannot live without taurine and they can't produce it on their own. They have to get it from their food source, from their food supply, and that is from meat, the way they get taurine and if they don't have taurine and it affects their heart and then they die um, but these are just the two examples vitamin A and taurine there are many different amino acids and vitamins that cats cannot make on their own they have to get it from the protein that they're eating from the they have to have meat in their diet it is biologically necessary for them to have meat so I know this is kind of a short video but I really just wanted to um, explain this to my viewers because the more educated you are, the more you know about it, you can help educate other people. Um, the goal here is is to educate other people because I don't want to see cats or dogs, but in this video specifically cats, I don't want to see that we're already as a society nutritionally abusing our dogs and cats by feeding them kibble. We really don't need to take it a step further and start trying to make them vegan, which you know what, for humans, I think is amazing. I admire people who are vegan. I have um, attempted being vegan many times and my willpower just hasn't gotten me there yet. Um, I'm not gonna give up though. 
I think it's a really great thing. Humans can thrive on a vegan diet, and I think it's, it is a really great thing for people to do, especially with um, our current situation, with, with our environment and the, the, the earth and how we treat farm animals and how, we are, how we're raising animals. Um, I think it's a really great thing for humans to do. I applaud you. I, I look up to you if you are a vegan watching this video. I appreciate you. I appreciate um, everything that you're doing to make this world a better place and choosing to be a vegan. Um, however, we cannot force this on our dogs and cats because it's, it's for a lack of a better word, it's abuse. Um, we can't nutritionally abuse. We are already nutritionally abusing them, but especially with cats being obligate carnivores, we can't we can't abuse them nutritionally to the point that they die from what we are feeding them. And um, honestly, the truth is that that kibble is killing our pets, but at a much slower rate. If you try to put your cat on a vegan diet, they will die much quicker. Um, because they can't produce different amino acids and vitamins that they absolutely need to sustain life. I just realized that the last part of my video did not record. So basically to sum up, cats are obligate carnivores. We cannot feed them a vegan diet and expect them to thrive. We can't feed them a vegan diet and expect them to even survive. So. That, that's that. Cats are carnivores. They are obligate carnivores. We cannot feed them a vegan diet. Please spread the word and pass on the education. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please, please leave them in uh, the comment section below and share this video with anybody you think can benefit from this information. So until next time, I will see you in the next video.